Hey everybody. I recently cleared up some white water mold in my quarantine tank here, although I didn't fully clear it out of the tank yet, but we'll get to that in a moment. But one of my viewers recommended that I put a teaspoon of vinegar in the tank and that would kill the mold off. So I really don't see how that would have any kind of an impact one way or the other. And in fact, I even said that a teaspoon of vinegar in a 10 gallon tank would barely affect the pH. I don't even think it would make a noticeable shift in the pH. So this morning, just for the heck of it, I dumped a splash of vinegar in this tank and I did a measurement of the pH beforehand. I put probably a quarter cup of vinegar in there. It was just a big splash. I didn't measure it or anything. And I checked the pH not really expecting much of a difference. And I was surprised to see that it had gone from 7.3 down to 6. So that was with a big splash of vinegar. I then decided to do a little more controlled experiment and we'll go over and have a look at those results right now. All right, so what I did was I took a five gallon bucket, I filled it with my tap water, I took a sample of that water and I let it sit in the vial while I then took a half a teaspoon of vinegar just plain old distilled white vinegar and I mixed it into the bucket I swirled it around I gave it a good five minutes to really get you know incorporated into the bucket and then I took another sample of the water and then I did both pH tests simultaneously so you can see the difference the one on the right is my original water my tap water and that comes out if you want to put it right next to the chart there that comes out around 7.2 maybe seven just about neutral it's usually where I keep my water and then if you look we're down to about 6.6 .6, I would say on the after so it did drop it a significant amount not a huge amount but it is a noticeable and significant amount so I was wrong in thinking that a teaspoon of vinegar would not really impact uh, the pH in a 10 gallon tank so apparently half a teaspoon has a noticeable not a huge but a noticeable impact on five gallons so we can only scale up from there now whether having slightly more acidic water is going to do anything to that white water mold I have no idea and I certainly wouldn't recommend anybody putting um, acetic acid in their fish tank I also have to keep in mind that I have almost no buffering capacity in my water. I have zero carbonate hardness and my only buffering capacity comes from the sodium ions that are in my water. So even the slight addition of acetic acid, which is what vinegar is, is going to have some impact on my water. If you've got hard water that has lots of carbonates in it and you've got lots of buffering capacity, you may have a very different result. A teaspoon of vinegar in your tank may not make any difference at all. But I have almost no buffering capacity, so any additional acid is going to lower my pH. Now again, whether that's going to have any impact on that white water mold or not, I don't know. But Lastly, I will say when I looked in the tank, the intake tube for my filter, which is made out of the ABS plastic, it's a plastic similar to this hard uh, kind of plastic, that is what the white water mold grows on, and the light from my UV that I put in there is not shining down on that. And if you look into the darkness in the tank with the flashlight, you can see that that white water mold is now growing uh, on that intake tube. So I do have a lot of vinegar in that tank. I'm going to leave it at about a quarter cup of vinegar in a 10 gallon tank and we're going to see if that has any impact on that white water mold. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss the updates on that or anything else I got going on. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you real soon in the next one.